Right, YouTube friends. Look at the state of this dungeon. Good lord. And Jealousy Rawford's going to start becoming rapturous pretty soon. 60 stress, 65 stress. Whew, we must be getting closer. Crocodilian probably, and then Viscount. If anything, what might cause us to have to pull out of this dungeon is lack of food. We're down to what? Six food. Speak of the devil. Okay, 12 food. Much better. It is, well, bleed damage is... is a major if not the major mechanic of crimson court but if i had to summarize what it's all about i would say it's about making you fight enemy types that are indescribably irritating and go into a dungeon that is this size testing your not your in-game resolve your actual irl resolve look we asked for food we got three of these But yeah, for the most part, the bloodsuckers. Okay, here he is. All right. What is this shit? Okay, so the Viscount, 127 hit points and only 23 dodge. That's not too bad. Let's look at his resistances. Blight resist is quite high. Bleed, debuff, and stun resistances aren't that bad. But what do you do with these bodies? Emaciated body, body... But stuff, buddy. I'm guessing he's gonna eat them to buff himself. And hmm. oh yeah, I'm gonna claim that that, 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 that that that's totally did that on purpose. Give myself the halo. <laughs> well, should we not? Should we kill the bodies? What happens if we hit the bodies? Let's just try to burst him down and see what happens. But I imagine he's going to start interacting with the bodies and we're going to have to hit the bodies. Yeah, so he heals himself totally, but then that lowers his bleed resistance shit. Okay, so we've got to kill all the bodies. Is he going to resummon the bodies though? Because if he does... Reeling. Wow! It's not one shot my Houndmaster. Good lord. Let's at least stun him for one turn. Big fucker. Uh, I think I want to buff my own... Dodge ability. Or hit him. No, there's no point in hitting him. But I should buff my dodge though. So at least also that'll keep him off death's door for the next three turns. Ooh. Kai buffs himself. Rapturous, good. More damage. And he gets more damage because of stress above. So JDT Rawford is going to do a lot of damage now. Look at how high the crit chance is. He's attacked twice and crit both times. I had brought a plague doctor. Uh, 
Nice. All time record healing there. That. That's like 80 healing altogether. Okay, so pretty clear. You just ignore him, kill the bodies. He's not still reposting, is he? Let's see, six hit points, three to five plus bleed. Never mind. A couple big crits, and we could have that body dead as well. But if he just then immediately just starts summoning more bodies, then I don't know what I'm supposed to do then. Dodge, accuracy, speed, repost. I think it's worth marking. Plus damage for everyone. 35 more hit points. Our man at arms, let's just keep stunning this guy if we can. The Viscount. Stun him. 11 more damage onto this blood stuff body. Ugh. 9 damage, not too bad. Stun resist is 50. Oh, and dodge, dodge the repost. Nice. Okay, hopefully we can deal with him on his own terms now. Oh, fuck the repost. Oh, no, he's stunned. Okay. Whew. Whew. Close call. We don't have a bone. Six to nine hit points. Struth. Please don't kill Ramadi Ridleg. He's my favorite character. Please don't bleed to death, JDC Rawford. Death's door survived. No, you fool! This is no place for the weak or fool. Fuck's sake. Rip, JDC Rawford. He's reposting for two rounds. I'll just have to try to get through it, I'm afraid. 36 more hit points. You're so close to dying, too. Man, I tell you, these bosses, they almost always make us pay with one of our lads. Crimson Court bosses, I mean. Oh, three more hit points. Don't you bleed to death, Ramadi. Don't you fucking bleed to death. He needs one more hit point. Let us hope he enjoyed his last meal. Uh, he's down. But it cost us JC Rawford. Oh, it's over for now. Ugh, and we got two nice fledgling items now, but they both give what hit points, move resist. That's true, yeah. At least Ramadi didn't die, but man, flagellants, high level flagellants are so important. Rest in peace, JDC Rawford. From the courtyard have abated. The heirs of the estate feel narrowly agreeable once again. We're gonna keep our eyes open now every week for a level three flagellant. We might need to do a few veteran levels. Ooh, healing received if has comes in curse. Interesting. 96 crests, 33,000 gold. 
Plague Doctor, Subject Notes, Disease Resist, Max HP. It's kind of meh, honestly. I think what we should do is we might want to level some of these level 3s and 4s and 5s. While keep de-stressing and de-negative uh, quirk on our high level boys. Recovery charm, maybe. Disease resist, movement, accuracy. Can't forget. Only meditate. Okay, so you can go meditate. Marty. Only flagellate. Mobilny. Only meditate. I mean, technically, Ramadi and Montfiquet didn't need to get stress relieved. I could have just given them the uh, virtue items. Oh well. Doesn't matter. Chandos, what's your preferred only drink? René, Thin-Blooded, Blight Resist. Let's get rid of that. Dolmar. Uh, we'll not take part in prayer. We'll not pray or flagellate. Not allowed to gamble. Those aren't that irritating. Bad Gambler, Lazy Eye, Ranged and Crit for Ranged. Let's get rid of those. Uh, may not meditate. That's fine. Dipsomania, that's pretty bad. Any diseases? Nope. Now, are there any veteran runs we can do that will give uh, the events, the weekly events? Doesn't look like it. We lost and found is a good one. Chance party surprised. Mm. Book of Rage, kind of meh. Eldritch Slayer's Ring is fine. Fresh air in the tunnels. Okay, we'll do that then. Level 5s. We'll take level 5s out with us. Uh, I think we will take Frosty as our healer. What's this? This counts trophy. Healing when eating if have Crimson Curse. No, max HP and move resist. That's not great at all. Ooh, flagellant only. Bleed skill chance, bleed resist. Not that, not that good, really. Now, for the leper, I think we have a plus accuracy ring, don't we? Accuracy and crit is very good. There's not something better though. Damage verse unholy debuff. Position four accuracy. A focus ring is actually really good for the leper. He needs all that plus ten accuracy. Minus dodge kind of sucks, but I mean he's a, he's a big tough lad. Hmm. Should we do a dark run, maybe? Uh, no, not in a not in a champion dungeon. I think I might give him the move resist boots, just because I don't want him getting pushed around. Move already one hundred and ten. They all have fine move resist. Crit and accuracy. Although blight and disease is particularly important if he's going into the warrens. At 90, okay, disease resist, terrible. And then for the abomination we go restraining padlock. And damage and speed is pretty good too. Now we can take a position 4 damage dealer, like the Grave Robber. 
Oh, Obelisk. Are any of these people good in the Warrens? No, they wield. Wield tactician damage and wield. I could have Flash Heart just sit position four and play his guitar. In fact, why not? And he can carry his scouting items. It just spams Battle Ballad an inspiring tune. And he can use Dirk Stab and Finale in case he gets pushed around. Damage, damage, heal slash damage. Let's see if that works. Inhuman Bondage. Damnation's Gift. The Broken Blade. Indomitable. Testament. The Burden. I love how they got such cool names. I mean, yes, this costs a fortune, but what a pleasure to actually get everybody up to this level, though. Survivalist. Mm, mockery is actually pretty good when you have a flagellant in the party. One companion minus stress. All companions minus stress. Bloody shroud we don't need. That's fine. Clear all corpses, buff self accuracy and de stealth. Good. We need a bit of that. Okay, sanitarium is full. Good. Pub can't be upgraded just yet. Abby, we're getting there. Ooh, a hundred deeds. Can we build anything with a hundred deeds? I wonder. Two hundred deeds for the altar of the light. 110 for the Athenaeum. Antiquarium, Occultist, Plague Doctor, Blight Skill Chance, Debuff Skill Chance, Knowledge Curios, Heal Stress. So what are Knowledge Curios? I'm guessing that would be books and shelves of books. So do we hang on to those deeds? And maybe get Ultra of the Light, Flagellant plus Healing Skills. Yep, hang on to the deeds. And scrolls. Okay, cool. But then, if I'm encountering scrolls in the Warrens, I want to be burning them. Well, I suppose you get the effect from burning it, and you get the stress relief. Pretty cool. Uh, medicinal herbs. I actually want four medicinal herbs. Anti-venom, a fair amount. Fair amount. Uh, keys, we've got two. Holy water. Uh, actually, we should take holy water for, for blessing a pile of bones. This is a champion run, though, and we've got a level four and three level fives. So some of these lads might find this quite difficult. The swine draw power from their horrid markings and crude idols. Tear them down. Just think about what we're going to be doing most of the time. We are going to be punishing, reclaiming, redeeming, and exsanguinating. So all position one and two skills. Yep. Chopping, hewing, purging, and intimidating. Position three is kind of perfect for the A-bomb. It's the occult scrawlings, Bez Relief and Eerie Coral are the non-obvious knowledge curious. Okay, good. Yeah, thanks for that, uh, Turty Tube. The occult scrawlings I tend to burn. The Bez Relief, for the most part, I leave behind because it almost always seems to give me a negative outcome of stress. But, I mean, now that I've got my sanitarium leveled up, I'm, I'm more likely to play with that type of stuff because I can get rid of the negative effects a lot easier. 
eerie coral. I'm almost always throwing herbs on to try and get rid of a negative mental effect. Flash heart, don't tell me uh, he's curious. Okay, we need to get rid of that. Curious is a nasty one. I didn't check my scouting chance. It should have been up to like 60%. So we're getting 40 just from these two items. So 65 I would guess. 25 base plus these two items. Cleanse the trough, get food. We don't need that. You fool! Ah, oh, Black Plague is a bad one. Do we have disease removal from camping skills? Self only remove disease. Fuck's sake. Well, the Jester's dodge is still not bad, so. Oh, bloody curious. Should have rendered him. Death Owie. for the slightest lapse in concentration. Such a pity he got black plague that his low speed is hurting us. The ground quakes. Five and ten, so I need five more damage there. Yeah, he's done for. And she's done for on the next turn. Pretty about the stress, but what are you gonna do? Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Inspiration and Speed and accuracy is exactly what the leper needs. to finish off the occultist for the big heal. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Perfect. So just a bit of stress out of that battle. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Ah, I can't even carry any of this. I think we should camp immediately. Just open up some inventory space. Quest location helps as well. We have uh, prevents an time ambush. In that case, then accuracy and crit on the leper. Uh, more accuracy and crit, could be good. All companions minus stress. That's always good. And then we should probably just encourage the Jester. Self speed, light bleed, disease. Actually, he should he should give himself disease resist. Now what can I do for three? Self only plus forty stress. Uh, this doesn't affect himself. Self only 25 stress. Actually, I can go Lash's Anger because I want to be stressed. There's the ambush. Oh, the ambush. Victory. Oh, 
shall we? Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. I forgot that I can use that default party order. So great that we found the other quest location immediately. Ornaments. Neatly ordered. Lovingly admired. Lovingly admired. You. Well, at least he doesn't steal it with Curious, but it does get him into a bit of trouble. So we'll just zip around that way, I think. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Just some flesh eaters. Uh, their blight resistance is pretty good. Let's not transform and see what my melee attack options are from here. I don't think I can rake or rage. Okay, so yeah, damn. Okay. There's no point in him, in him transforming. We should take a look to see what the fledgling can do from position three, because maybe we put, we swap these two around. Leper position one, a bomb position two. Man, but the Jester getting the Black Plague at that point was super unlucky. I needed him to have his high speed so he can buff everybody in the beginning of each battle, but it just hasn't turned out that way. See, punish you can't do from position three. It's the problem. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. We'd finish him off. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, I can't punish all Reign of Sorrows from position three. Uh, buff self with plus ten stress. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so this way now, I can't punish, but I can endure, and I can suffer. Let's see, clear mark target, transfer bleed and blight, mark yourself, lower the stress you take, and increase death by resist. And at least from here now, Roussel can rake, rage, and slam. The tentacle what takes away stress, but I don't have any holy water left. Can I slam from there? Ugh, annoying. Almost. the abomination up apparently munch does interact with uh Continue mark target destroy them all i mean these two together probably do enough damage destroyed unnerved unbalanced Whew, it's a lot of stress Critical vomit. So much damage. 
cool thing about restoration is it stacks. We got eight times three. A singular strike. He's gonna keep de-stressing himself, I think. This is forward one. Okay, in that case then I think I should finish off the swine thunderer. Gonna say we're gonna get another disease on this. This poor jester has got so many diseases. Sixteen crit, awesome. Eradicated. Oh god. Hell yes. Ghoulish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. Uh, uh, what do we do here? I think we eat a bit. Now we take the busts. Knew it. Damage increased. That's why I didn't want to have Flash Heart manifest. hit that altar because without the Holy Water, then he would have had his resolve tested now. Which would not have been good. At least the Flagellant wants to be rapturous. Man, these swine heavers having to deal with it. There, there, there is a fair amount of stress I'm having to deal with here. The Warrens are very cool, yeah. No! That's his third disease. I think one of his diseases, that's four diseases. And stress. So Just as having a bad time. <laughs> He's gonna bleed to death, isn't he? <laughs> Bebop, I remember that. Uh, battle ballad, speed, accuracy, crit. Come on, the Fledge has to survive that one's death, that one death door. Good. Now he can use redeem. Turn two, we haven't killed a single baddie yet. It works, flash heart, that works. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Uh, de-stealth, mock target plus speed, knockback, clear corpses, knockback. God damn it, Roussel! Uh. Body comp isn't working. Well, let's just see if we can get through this dungeon. I 
Houndsmaster would have been the best option for the Warrens, but we didn't have one available in the experience range we wanted. Four turns. They're going to get they're going to get reinforcements if we don't hurry this up. A decisive pummeling. Thank you, Vernalt. I got the stress. Twenty eight hundred thirty five. We're getting near heart attack territory. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Crests and some gold. Every single time I get rid of the Laudanum, then instantly I need it. Bandages. I need all this stuff. Damn. Not going to be a big haul, this dungeon run. Anyway, we just got to find one more quest location that we can get out of here. Swine Skyver and an insatiable ghoul. Scary. Five stun. I think I'll transform. Oh no, wait. Blight resist. 60 and 100. We'll just keep puking on them. Such a If we don't find the quest objective and get out of here soon, we're going to have to abandon this run. This has not worked at all. Well struck. Jesus! 37 damage together, plus poison. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. Or cowardice. What are you doing, you fucking tit? Yeah, if we can get out of this fight. Four times four, four by two, three by three. Seven more damage here. Uh, it's the mm, negative virtues that are killing us. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Not too bad. Ten and seven. He resisted. Unlucky. Well, we kept the Laudanum for exactly this reason. Mastery nice clutch. Executed. No, you tit. Ugh. As life ebbs, oh shit, I need to get out of here. He's gonna die. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. One more. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. 
Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely Lord a of the light? Blood. Anti venom. I just kind of find one more altar we can call this mission a success. But one more stress hit and Frosty Tail is dead. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Pile of Bones is disease if it goes wrong. Or stress. It's not worth the risk. Um, damn, if Frosty Tail wasn't in heart attack territory, I would push on. But we just lost our one level six flagellant. The thing is, I could just go into this room, it could have no battle and the quest location, and then. I'm greedy. Let's do it. Oh! <laughs> oh, and he still gets a heart attack anyway. Oh my god. Oh, whoa, oh, man. <laughs> we took it, we gambled and we won. The swine will grow ever more ignorant. If such a thing were possible. Cope scrounger, nice. That was a nice bit of luck. And now what I'm hoping is that the final boss in the Warrens will show itself now that we've got fresh air in the tunnels active. Uh, nope. Uh, explore. I, th I should keep doing explorations. I think that's most likely to find the boss battle for us. So you lads are all freaking the fuck out. Look at this Black Plague rabies, hysterical blindness. Anybody else got diseases? Uh, nope. Fossil I'm assuming, is going to want to flagellate. Vernold will never drink. Uh, and let's see, Roussel, actually, we can leave it high stress. We'll give him the virtue items. He's level six, though, so he doesn't need to go on this short exploration. Who's level five? I could send some level fours in. Touch risky. Uh, sunshine in the thicket could be quite good as well. And remember, we do have to fight the hag. Lost and found. Ooh, what's this? Ancestor's pen. Crit and damage for melee skills. That's really good. But that's a long cove battles. Uh, medium. Hmm. Caregiver's convention. So let's go do this one. Detoxify the corpses. Who is good? Actually, we've got a bunch of level fours. Any veteran runs? Silence in the crypts, but I don't particularly need that. Lost and found. Okay, we'll do this one then. Hillian. Stress and accuracy of torch above. Okay. More Traverse, are you fine? And she's an Eldritch hater, so that's cool. That helps in the cove. Fiends. Uh, we can take Tupa Square, but now we need a healer. Uh, T-Bon can be the healer. Uh, do I want to do a dark run? I don't think so. 
Let's see, let's see. Unholy. Stun resist could be good. Stun resist and dodge. 80. Is anybody super stressed? Not really. Damage speed and dodge. I think we've got Brawler's Gloves for damage in position 1. And I could take Fasting Seals on this one. Speed, damage, accuracy. Let's go with Fasting Seals so we can save on some food. Visual Healing Collar. There it is. Uh, accuracy and damage, bleed skills and damage, plus fasting seal, fasting seal, and now there is a grave robber's item which does what? Crit, trap, disarm, speed, and scouting chance. It's pretty damn good, but what she needs is damage, she doesn't have a lot of damage. Best straight damage is probably a legendary bracer. Quick check for the weapons and skills. Fine. How about camping skills? Fine. Remove blight, remove bleeding. Mm, that's self only though, unfortunately. Gallows humor is good. Snuff box is amazing. Remove disease on yourself and a companion. Okay, so Tibon is going to be in what position? Position 2. So he can punish and use all of his skills there. Of course, Iron Swan, Wicked Hack, Heal. Uh, in size, Stun, Cure. Lunge, yes. Flash daggers and poison. Good. So in terms of classes, we were looking for a... Not a leper. We wanted a level 3 flagellant. Because I'm pretty sure we only have the one flagellant. We only have T-Bon. Right. Take a break. When we come back. What did we say? We were heading into the cove. Yeah, for lost and found. Explore the cove a little bit. Hopefully we can find, what is it, the, the sodden or sunken crew is the final boss battle we got to do in the cove. Then we have one more boss battle in the Warrens, one more boss battle in the Wheel, and we're done with all the regular boss battles. Then it's just uh, finishing the courtyard by killing the Countess. Then we got to start assaulting the Darkest Dungeon. Talismans of the Flame. Minus 100% stress. No damage taken. Wow, okay. Killer Shuffling Horror. Okay. We'll do that. Right. We come back into the cove. <laughs>